It always comes to this. Tattoo progress update today. Uh, where I last left off, I had no doubt just showed this off. We're about ready to peel over here now. Uh, it's only actually been a day since I did the last video. It'll look like three days or whatever the hell it is, three or four days. But this is two days in now and uh, it's not going to darken much more than that. Um, I've talked about this before, but really what you get with color on black, um, white on black really is like it darkens over the first couple days and then it doesn't really get much darker than that so um, and I can feel it's got that kind of a crispy um, texture to it where it'll start flaking tonight or at the latest tomorrow morning um, that was like a two and a half hour session I had here Monday Tuesday sorry I usually have Monday um, but it, the shop was uh, the shop was a little cold that day. Someone turned the AC on, oddly enough, and uh, we left for the day and came back and it was too cold to work, so <laughs> just a little side note, um, we ended up doing this appointment on the Tuesday. So I'm a little screwed up here. Obviously we had another session and I'm sure people want me to just get right to that. Um, I sat down with uh, Terry this morning around 9.15 and we got wrapped up just shortly before 2.30. So. Um, but there were some interruptions in there. Um, I still have my duties here, so I had to greet people and I had to take payments and answer the calls and um, different things like that, ring people through, whatever. Um, yeah, super chill session overall. Um, it's exactly what I said it would be because this is going to sound egocentric to some degree, but I'm sort of um, scripting this. I'm sort of like um, puppeteering this sleeve. Now, God knows Terry is executing it very well. He's doing exactly what he needs to, and um, he's putting his artistic spin on my ideas, but I I told him the other day we needed to put another thorn in here. Um, There's just a little too much negative there to just go straight red, um, and I think that it blends everything together. It actually ties in well with the tentacles as well. And uh, especially where we're playing both um, styles and both different concepts right next to one another, I think it's good to link them in. So we started off by lining out and uh, shading the black in that thorn there. Um, again, like the ones on my neck or lower on my arm. Um, and uh, we just did the black, then we did all the red around it, and then came back and did the white. Um, what can happen when you're doing color and white at the same time in the same area is if you wipe the, say, the red into the white, um, there's some there's some possibility of kind of tinging the white or coloring the white into almost like a pinky color. I've got just a little bit of it in one of the teeth on the tentacles here, or one of the little points or horns or whatever. Um, it's something that we can't buff out, but... Um, it's better not to have those kinds of problems if you don't need to. So we may end up getting some of that here, uh, but I doubt it. I seriously doubt it. I think we're far enough away. Um, we waited long enough to go back and do the white after this red had kind of settled down. So I'm pretty sure we'll probably be okay on that. Um, yeah, so overall around five hours. Uh, I said I wasn't sure how much we'd get done um, for reference. We got about a half sleeve and uh, obviously we went all the way up to the neck and parts of the chest we went in the inner and around um, went down to the elbow uh, we could have kept going I certainly wasn't no I wasn't in bad shape and I was having a blast you know I'm just I'm uh, getting caught up on social media crap and um, making posts up and junk like this and, and just talking shit and having a good time because arm tattoos are pretty pleasant overall. I always say that the best way to get tattooed is to get your arm tattooed. 
I actually can't tell whether I'm enjoying the chest or the arm sessions more because both of them are fairly light work for me. It's pretty easy for me um, either way, so I feel like I'm kind of joyriding at this stage. Um, this was session five on this sleeve. I pictured we'd do nine, nine ten. Um, I still think we're on par for that. I think one more session we'll get all the red because we're going to come back up here and do... Uh, my skin was getting pretty rubbery, which is the reason why we called it. That and uh, Terry had to go grab his girlfriend, take her to work. So my skin was getting pretty rubbery, though. I was cool, but my skin was tightening up, so... And we're working over thick, heavy scar tissue. If I've got scar tissue anywhere on my body, it's on my arms. My arms have fully been tattooed well over a dozen times each in every square inch of them. So, And some of the first tattoos I got were done by not the best artists. So I've got, for example, a little face. I'll, I'll show the tattoo off here because I can't quite describe it. But there's a little face in this rose that you can still see if you know where to look from one of the first tattoos I ever had on my arm and uh, there was more scar than ink in there and it doesn't matter what you cover that with if you know where to find it you're always gonna see that guy <laughs> poking through anyway um, yeah so not real painful this session was about as close to a blackout tattoo session I've had in quite a long time just because it was um, solid saturation so even though we're using red um, and not black, it was sort of similar to um, the feeling of getting blacked out. And uh, for me, once I got into that zone and kind of, um, I kind of figured it would be that way, but uh, once I got into that zone and that uh, um, old familiar feeling of the blackout, it was all really, really easy for me. Um, Kevin kept bothering Terry the whole time, telling him, uh, Kevin being the co-host of Remy Reacts, you ought to get in there with that 49 mag, because Terry got some 49 mags to work on my back blackout at some point this year. But I just think there's too much stuff too close together to really get in there with that lawnmower. And, um, so we used primarily 7 and 15 mags. Um, he was using flat edge mags for the, the big areas, like flat edge 15s. And he really, really liked the way that packed in there. Um, now, I said I factor 9 to 10 sessions for this sleeve. And part of that is, so let me break it down. we got the sixth session next week. We're probably going to be doing the entire lower arm and hopefully into the armpit. Um, that'll be session six. And then we've got the week off after that. We've got another week. That'll be session seven. Um, that's what three weeks from now uh, we're going to be doing um, so second pass of white as I mentioned before not because it needs to be done but because I want to increase the contrast I just have to put that out there for the people who are like oh well it's fading you need to touch it up already <laughs> no that's not the case this is not fading it's not going anywhere it's the same as it was when you do a second pass of white it makes it brighter so that was planned from step one. I've had so many people over the last few months that are like, Oh, you're just going to keep touching it up. It's never going to stop. You're going to be chasing this for... It's not how it works, asshole. Pay attention. If you're going to comment stuff like that, you either pay attention or keep your mouth shut. It's that simple. Those are your options. Or you won't be listened to. Because if you pay attention, I have described in great detail how every step of this is going to go. Ever since we figured out how to do this properly and get it to work, it's been like clockwork. It goes exactly how I expect it to every time and I've had no surprises along the way. There won't be any coming. And the rest of the time that I'm doing this, because we spent that two years that felt like an eternity and I'm sure most people thought I'd never be finished with my torso, that two years of growing pains instructed this fast progress. The reason why we're going quick now is because we took that time to learn how to do it. So I know what I'm saying when I say this will go this way. It just will. There's no argument. I posted this video. I'll put the video in here of us uh, or uh, doing the, the red, having the red done. And I had so many people 
Oh, I want to see that healed. Oh, you can see it healed. It's the same fucking red. It's on my neck. This is what you... I don't know. I don't understand. The, the short attention span is baffling. But anyway, I think it looks better when it's healed. This is actually too red right now. It needs to chill out a little and get to this place. And it will. And once it's there... Um, because, like, people are asking me if I'm planning on doing a second pass on this stuff. You could. I don't think you need to. I think that one is enough to differentiate things. And that's what I'm doing it for. It's not like, oh, I can't wait for my sleeve to be fully red. It's just, oh, no, I got to pull the roses and thorns off the background. Um, same as I thought with this. Originally, that was going to be an opaque gray in there, if you recall. But... We did the red, and uh, it turns out it's a great background. So there's going to be a lot more of it. Um, you can picture me now with the amount of uh, color on black I've got. It's probably not real hard for you to understand now that there's going to be a lot more of that in the near future. So yeah. There may come a point here in the near future where it's... And Kevin already joked with me about this uh, today... It's pretty well impossible to tell that there was ever a blackout once we get enough of this. Say my whole arm gets to this point, and then my other whole arm gets to that point, um, and we're going back into the torso with more color, and we get this chest piece completely filled in. It's like, well, he was never blacked out. I can already imagine the, uh, the same people who are telling me this is impossible and won't last. They're going to be ones who doubt that there was ever a blackout before. You'll be able to show those guys photo evidence of my old tattoos, the blackout, and they'll be, Oh, no, 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 that guy didn't do that. Here's what he did. He got a bunch of fucking laser done, and then he did that, and now he's pretending it's over the... I can already picture people saying that. It's going to be hilarious. Because um, it's just this, this strange denial that this is re like a real thing, they'll come up with any other method. It will be anything but work over black. <laughs> and uh, I mark my words, someone's going to say that. Um, and I kind of can't wait to hear those kinds of things, to be quite as, as exhausting as it is. I also find it hilarious. Anyway, I've uh, talked enough. I'll show this off. It's going to be even more red next time you see it. So, yeah, I'll talk to you guys again soon. Have a great day.